What is up everybody? The Hunter GT with TheHunterGT.com Go check out the website because today we are going to be taking a look at the Minuteman in action. The Technetics Ameritech Minuteman. There it is. First find already today about oh, four or five inches down there. Pretty deep. A ring pull tab. It's a pretty old park here. There's a museum here at this park right over there. That museum was built in the 1930s. That's right, so this park is quite old. We're right up on this big tree here. So, $249 for these Ameritech Minutemen. Coming up uh, in the next day or two, they should be released on technetixdirect.com. So, uh, go check in the video description, and I'll run it across the screen. A code, $50 off. You'll get these for $200, $199. Crazy. 8-inch concentric coil, 7.7 .7 kilohertz. Super proven technology right here, 7.7 .7 kilohertz. So let's go find us some coins, see how it does. For $200, you could have this detector. Let's go see. 2,000 nickel, about an inch down right there. Solid 57 on the ID. There it is, pretty corroded for a 2,000. Pretty nasty soil. All right, I don't usually hunt with a concentric quail. I usually hunt with a 5x10DD or the 11DD on my T2 or on the Huntress's F19. But on this uh, Minuteman, this 8-inch concentric, boy, it's a nickel machine here. So here's another 93. I think the last one was a 2000. This is a 93. But, uh, boy, you can really tell the difference. I pulled a couple pull tabs so far off camera. And I can really see the difference in the jump in the number. This one was about 3-4 inches down there. So, uh, not too bad. I'll start showing some ID and uh, listen to some tones and all that. But, uh, just trying to get used to it still. Here we go with some more. Okay, I must say I'm not 100% sure on this one. This is where that nickel was right there. You can see the little bit of dirt right there covered the plug back up I've got another signal right next to it that is a nickel signal as well let's listen a little bouncy three inches just like the other one pinpointed at right at three four inches Pretty solid though from 55 to 58, so it's only jumping about three numbers. And I've noticed most pull tabs jump clear down from 40 all the way up into the high 60s. So let's dig it, see what we get. All right, just popped the plug up that way, scooped a little bit of dirt out, and there it is right there. See it right there. So definitely a nickel. Yeah, you can really tell with this, uh, when it doesn't jump like that, stays real tight, it's been three nickels now in a row. So, when it jumps all over, I know, I mean, duh, right? Jumpy signal, don't dig it, right, Hunter? Yeah, I know, but I'm telling you, it's pretty nice and tight. 56, 57. So that is a 98 nickel. 1988, or 98, I can't tell. You guys can probably tell better. There it is. Three nickels in a row. Pretty good. Pretty happy. So the Minuteman is quite hot on nickels here. You can really tell. So uh, you gold ring jewelry hunters that like that gold $200 detector here, uh, you can go clean up the parks and the schools and uh, make a fortune, right? Pay this detector off in no time. $249 with the code 200. Let's not forget about that code. Check out the video description. Yes, sir. Well, it's not a nickel this time. It did fool me. It did fool me. However, it's not a bad pull tab. So, there it is. It's a ring tail or a uh, ring pull or a beaver tail, whatever you want to call it. So, from the 60s, early 70s, 60s, for sure. So, we're in the older stuff over here. Let's go find some more. I should have shown this ID on video because it was barely a half inch down, inch down, 79 penny. 
It was real loud. I thought it was a bottle cap, actually. It was so loud. Um, like half inch. Yeah, I thought it was a bottle cap, so I was like, ah, I'm not going to record a bottle cap. But it turned out to be a penny. Dag nabbit. Should record everything, right? Right? I think we might have another nickel here. So, real tight on the number here. 56, 55, 56, 57. Well, suppose you guys want to hear that. Let me take the headphones out. Here we go. Here we go. See that? See how tight it is on the number? 56, 57, 58. Real tight. So, about two inches down, I pinpointed it. Three inches. Let's find out what it is. Actually, we'll pinpoint it here real quick on camera here. Let's do it. Right there, about two inches. Let's see what it is. And, sure enough, another nickel. So when they're real tight, guys, that number, that 56, 57, 58, like that, and they're not jumping way high into the 60s and way low, low 50s, high 40s, something like that, good chance it's a nickel and not a pull tab. You will be fooled, obviously, from time to time. But uh, for the most part, you can really tell nickels from pull tabs with this concentric coil. You know, there's a guy on a forum, on a metal detecting forum, that his signature on the bottom says, save the concentric coils or something to that nature. And uh, yeah, I gotta admit, I usually run a DD coil 95% of the time. 200 bucks, this uh, minute man, 200 bucks after the code here is pulling nickels out of this park. I'm gonna pay for it here in a little bit. So <laughs> it's pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, over here by the playground, moved over here. Real shallow target right here, 84. 83, 84. Two inches. Let's see what we got right there. Well, it's a 77 dime. There we go. If you follow my channel, you know I get a ton of 77 pennies, 1977, so if I don't get a penny, it always seems to be another coin of some 77 year variety. So there we go. A dime it was, just like it said it was. This here uh, Minute Man doing the work today on these uh, nickels, dimes, and pennies. Good stuff. Let's go find some more. All right, same hole there. Uh, there's a flap there about four inches down or so. 94 nickel and a 97 quarter in the same hole. So it almost gave off like a weird zinc penny <laughs> signal, so I dug it anyways. That's what we got. I want to say that's my fourth or fifth nickel today. Pretty happy about that. It loves nickels. So if you guys know anything about nickels, you know that's where your gold range lies. Your gold rings, a lot of that stuff lies in the nickel range. So super good on the nickel range. Uh, this thing will find gold rings like no other if you guys are interested in that. Let's go find some. Super shallow quarter signal here. Might be a bottle cap right next to some benches behind me. Real solid, 88, 89, usually a quarter. So it's right there, either a quarter or a bottle cap, let's find out. All right, so right there, just flopped right out, barely a half inch down, state's quarter. Try to get it in the sunlight there for you. It's a Vermont 1791 Vermont States Quarter. 2001 is the year it was minted. There we go. I wish it was a 1791, right? Right? All right, there it is. Super shallow. So everything is shallow here at this park. Only found one penny here at six inches with the Liberator. The Liberator, the brand new Ameritech Liberator, has found my deepest coin at this park. I've been here with my T2, with an F70, the Huntress's F19. Everything we found here has been like one or two inches deep. Super shallow finds here. 14 quarters found here with a Swiss franc. 
1991 Swiss franc. I don't know what it's doing in Colorado, but yeah, there it was with 14 other quarters spread out and about the size of a couch cushion uh, right out here somewhere. So yeah, everything within an inch down or so. It's pretty odd, pretty odd park. So that museum right there was from like 1938. So you figured there'd be a wheat penny here or something like that. This park's been around since 38, but nothing. We have hit it with some deep detectors. And uh, yeah, here is the uh, Minute Man coughing up the shallow finds still when we've hit this park many, many a time. So pretty good day. Pretty good day. Let's go find one or two more. Call it a video here. There's my 77 penny that stalks me and haunts me at every school and park I go to. Hmm. 1977. Hmm. Should be a dime or a penny. 84. <coughs> There. 91 dime. Just like it said it would be. Good stuff. Good stuff. Alright, I think we got a dime or a penny here. Solid 82 right there, if we get it just right. Let's pinpoint it. Three to four inches. Let's find out. Sure enough, three inches down, there is a penny. Barely made it into the copper range. That's an 82. So, last year that they made copper pennies into the zinc pennies after that. Well, guys. I think I'm going to call it a video. I found pennies, quarters, a dime, tons of nickels, four or five nickels. So found the whole gamut today. Technetics Ameritech Minute Man, $249 with a code that just flashed across the screen and down in the description and on the website. You get $50 off and free shipping. How about that? Because the Hunter GT is an awesome guy. So there you go. The Minute Man for two hundred dollars, a hundred and ninety-nine, with the code. You can't beat it, guys. You cannot beat it. The recovery speed, the separation, the unmasking is great. I got videos showing air tests and all that coming up in another twenty-four to forty-eight hours with this and the Liberator both. We're gonna run them through the paces. All right, guys. Hope you enjoy the video. The Hunter GT signing off. I will see you on the next video.